Well, hello and good day, people of the internet. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a skin selection at the, uh, when you join the, your own game mode. And I'm going to show you real quick in a quick small summary on how to uh, use all kind of variables in your uh, game mode on making commands. And um, you'll see in this video, um, I record this after I did everything. I'm just going to show you and basically explain to you guys that there's multiple variables in SAMP. And if you want to use them, just think and i'm just gonna just watch the video this is a mess but um, there's one tool you'll need for this video which is the map editor uh, there will be a link to this in the description um how to use this map editor you download it um you open it you go to your samp uh your gta san andreas folder for me that is located in drive program files stand no not sandy builder standalone games gta san andreas and boom uh, copy and paste all these files into your gta san andreas folder i already got them here so i'm not going to do that uh, then open it uh load it up and it'll load the entire game games map in this thing you control the uh, camera with holding right mouse button you can select things using left mouse button uh, but I'll explain all this in the video. Uh, download this tool and I want to warn you um, <laughs> When I was recording this video, I was fucking high or something because it's not the most clear video But if you just follow along with my steps slowly, then I think this is a useful video um, On making the player class selection and all that stuff um, I'm gonna warn you. It's not the best video ever but it's something. So uh, you guys um, enjoy the video and I hope you learned something. Disclaimer, I am not- Before we get started, I want to give a huge shout out to Freaksken. I don't know if I pronounce your name right, but there it is on the screen. He saw one of my scripting videos and was nice enough to point out some mistakes I was making. So here's a quick summary of what I messed up. In the first episode, I said Sam scripting is basically C++, which is a false statement. It's just quite similar. Um, if you are, if your server's ever freezing up like mine did, um, if you can still remember that when I launched my server and I tried to log in episode one, I think, uh, it, nothing happened. That is because I clicked something on the screen. If it happens to you, just press enter and everything will work fine again. Um, another way to restart your server is by just typing GMX into the, uh, server, uh, command prompt. Um, also it's perimeter, not parameter, <laughs> just FYI. Um, in the server folder that everybody has, there is, uh, as you just saw, the server just restarted. Uh, in the server folder, there's multiple things we have to fix. First of all, I told you to also install the include files into the include folder in the server file. You don't have to, you can delete that one. And the script files can also be removed because we're not using it. Feel free to delete those uh, so everything looks nice and neat. Um, there's a bunch more that you can read up on and I will link it all in the description. But once again, if you're watching Freaksken, if I pronounce it right, thank you very much and hats off to you. Now, let's get on to the scripting video. Disclaimer, I am not a professional scripter. I could be doing things wrong. If you see me doing something wrong, please let me know in the comments below. I do this because I think it's fun. Thank you. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to set our player spawn point and we're going to make a skin selection like you probably are familiar with on other servers. Um, this is not too difficult, but at the same time, we are going to get into some more advanced stuff. So I do think this video is marked at new slash nerd level two. Um, it's not that difficult. Just so just follow along with what I'm doing and you will probably be able to do this. Um, of course, we start out with opening our script again using, of course, Pano. Um, direct to your server file and game modes and your script, whatever you called it. Uh, last time we ended by adding these commands. Uh, if you wonder how to make these commands, feel free to hit up the previous video. Today, though, we're going to fix our spawn issue, quote unquote issue that we have right now. Because as I can show you guys, if we join our server um, we will basically just get a screen where you can select the skin and then if you select the skin which is not a thing you can do as you see we can click anything but it doesn't do anything we can press spawn and we are here um, let's start out by setting a spawn point that we like um, let's say you want to spawn let me just look around on top of that building 
Well, we made a jetpack command previous video, so we can just use the jetpack to go there. Um, let's say we want to spawn on top of this castle. At least we want our uh, skin selection to be on top of the castle. Now we could do that very easily, and that is what we're gonna do. So, there we go. Castle. Boom. Let's say you want your character selection to be here, and you want it to face this angle. Uh, step one is there is a default tool in SAMP where you can save your uh, location and you can search up the coordinations in uh, your documents folder. So what you type is just slash save and then you just give it a name. Let's say skin select. Let's just call it skin select and as you see a message will pop up on foot position has been saved. If we now direct ourselves to uh, your documents, uh, GTA San Andreas user files, SAMP, uh, then there will be a, a TXT file called saved positions. And as you see in the TXT file, it says add player class zero, that's your skin. This, These are the coordinations and then whatever you named it. Let's go back to our pawn now though, because as you know, we can only spawn as CJ right now. Uh, why is that? That is because we only have one class in the game. Um, Right, uh, this is a skin ID, as I said, so zero is CJ, and these are the coordinations. Let's say you want to spawn at a different location, like on top of the roof. You can get the coordinations from this line, which is X, Y, Z, and X, Y, Z, and your facing angle. Bothers me that I can't remember, but um, this is uh, your uh, your X, your X thing. Dude, I know my math, don't worry about it. But X, Y, Z, and then your facing angle. It'll all get very clear in the uh, upcoming uh, things I'm going to show you. Uh, but let's say we want to add other skins. There's multiple ways you can do that. Uh, you can do it manually. You can do, uh, I want skin 1. I want skin 62, or 63, whatever. I want skin 13, and I want skin 267. Uh, in my script. Uh, this is how you do it. It's very, very easy. Um, and let's just... Yeah, come on, game. Unfreeze. There we go. Uh, let's just restart. Uh, RCON QB. RCON QB. RCON login QB. RCON GMX. And as we restart, you will see that we can select multiple skins that we probably won't be able to see because we did not set the camera angle yet. But we'll get into that uh, in a bit. So uh, let's just wait patiently. And if we now you you see things changing on the screens, well, that is your skin. You can't see yourself because your camera angle is all messed up. But as you see, the skin is there. This, however, is not. I do not recommend this, even a little bit. This is gonna make your skin look really ugly if you do this for all 299 skins. You know, at 299 lines, and you can do this very, very easily uh, by just adding, adding what is it, two lines. Um, but as I said, we're gonna go a little bit more advanced today. So we are gonna be making our first stock value. Um, for the 299 skins, though, we want this number, the skin ID. We want that to be either a number zero or a number 299. How do we do that? We go for new, and we're gonna make a new, uh, new, uh, new value. Let's just call it skin ID for the ease. Uh, new skin equals zero, and skin ID equals smaller or bigger than. <laughs> Dude, I'm not having this. Skin ID equals zero. Uh, skin ID is smaller than uh, 299. But we keep it going. You type skin ID plus plus. Plus plus basically is plus one. Uh, it repeats this until it hits. I do not quite know how to explain this. But at least what happens in this line. Uh, it basically selects okay. We're going to get a number. We're going to get all the numbers from zero until 299. And the skin ID plus plus. Um, basically means skin ID plus one. So it knows, okay, I have to do skin ID plus one. So skin ID zero plus one until we hit 299. Um, 
now you could just uh, do your thing. You could um, add player class. Um, then it is, of course, skin ID instead of a number. Uh, coordinations, 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 all that good stuff, and close it down. But we're going to go, as I said, a little more advanced, and we are going to make uh, our first stock value. Because what if you want to ban a certain skin, for instance? Um, I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, if our, we're going to call our stock value banned skins, and then we have skin ID. Boom. We're going to open our bracket. This is where we're going to type stuff and we're going to close our bracket. Right now, this, of course, won't do anything because banned skins is not something that our script recognizes. How do we make it something that it recognizes? Just go to the bottom of your entire script. Oh, let me just look at my script real quick because I got a little cheaty script on my right screen, if you're wondering. And let's just make a thing called stock values. Uh, quick lesson, if you double slash, uh, this won't affect anything in your script. So you can just name stuff, make things organized. Uh, it's a good way. Uh, to keep your script organized and you can easily find what you need. What I also normally do, what I forgot to do last time is like commands. So for instance, if you have a bigger script, you just type slash commands and then you will be ending up at your commands thing. Uh, but our first stock value, how do you make a stock value? You just type stock and you type what you want to call it. I'm going to call it band skins and we're going to add the skin ID. Uh, open the bracket, close the bracket. And now we're going to go into making our skin I uh, band skins stock value. Uh, we still have our value skin ID. If skin ID is bigger than zero or oh, my bad. Or it is skin ID is smaller than 299, uh, then return zero. Boom. Um, we're going to make our first switch switch. Basically, it's just switch in between numbers and let you make case files. Uh, our case one. Uh, okay, this is where things get interesting. Let me just close this bracket and return one. Um, we have our case file. If you use a switch, you can use a case file. And let's say we want to ban skin ID. 267 we add skin id 267 here want to add another skin let's say we also want to ban skin 76 or you want to ban the cj skin you just add them like this you type return zero and boom now if you if we if the server goes into this line um if ban skin skin id it goes through the stock value so it checks if skin id is uh, bigger than uh, or smaller than zero or bigger than 299 then we return the player to zero zero as we uh, as I said in previous videos zero equals basically no and one equals yes so zero equals we're not going to continue in this case um, and also if if it uh, if skin ID equals 267 67 or zero then we also return one if not then we just uh, return zero my bad if if neither of these happens, then we just return one and we can continue on. Nothing, nothing happens. Just plain. It just continues like you want it to. Uh, now, what do we add in the um, in the uh, if band skins? Uh, we just add our player class again. Um, as you saw, we had a saved uh, file for the app player class right here. And what's going to happen if we add this one, I can show you actually, if we add this one, boom, we compile our script, we get four errors, of course, uh, skin did. Yeah, that's not going to work. <laughs> skin did must be skin ID. Uh, another error invalid expression, assuming zero line 270 until 271. Um, switch. What did I forget? Let me just peek at my script here. Yep, I'm an idiot. Skin ID. I knew that. Uh, you want to make a switch of the skin ID. Uh, so basically the value that we made skin ID, my bad, should add that one more error. Uh, found but found. Oh, yeah. Wait, what? But found return expected token 271. Um, 
no. <laughs> I dicks. Uh, no, that should be right. It should be here. Boom. Yeah, my bad. Okay. Um, let's go back. Um, to what I just fucked up because I'm a noob. Um, I forgot to add the skin ID because it, of course, has to know uh, that the uh, value uh, is the skin ID. So if num uh, we have skin ID, we have as zero or uh, smaller than 299. If skin ID, because it has to know that I use the skin ID, uh, then continues as skin ID. If the sk Jesus, I'm... Okay, I'm just gonna be real with you guys here. I'm being really messy today. But I hope you guys can follow along with me because I really don't feel like recording all this again. Um, here it just checks if skin ID equals 267, 67 or 0, then we'll return 1. If no, we ret return 0. If no, then we return 1. So we can keep on going. Uh, the band skins, you just enter them here. Um, make sure you put a comma in between. Let's say we also want to ban skin ID 45. Um, and then close it off with uh, this thing. Uh, I don't know how those things are called. I just know what they do. Um, <laughs> I'm the best fucking teacher ever, I know. Um, all right. Um, what I said. Um, we just added the add player class. We're going to compile a script and we're going to see what happens. Because right now we are far from done. Well, we're actually pretty close, but at least we still have a couple of things to do uh, before um, we continue with what we're doing, I suppose. Whatever. All right, as you see, um, there is nothing here. You cannot really see what skin you are selecting. And that is because we have not set our uh, camera for the player. Uh, if I press spawn, though, we will spawn on top of this thing because, whoa, I set my spawn point here. Um, but we're going to change all this up because uh, I don't like how this works. Uh, this is also not where I'm going to spawn my player. So let's actually hop back in game and go get the jetpack. And let's say after you selected the skin, I want the player to spawn inside of this castle. Um, yep, we want him to spawn here and we want to uh, save. And let's call it spawn point. Boom. On player foot thing position saved. Uh, just reload your TXT file. Save positions. And then here you see it's called spawn point. Uh, we're going to use this add player class. And we're going to use the coordinations of this one. Um, let's add player class. Oh yeah, I also see. I, I'm being really sluggish today. Long day at work. That's my excuse. Uh, yeah, closest. Fuck you. Um because we want, of course, to replace zero with skin ID. Compile the script. Um, but what we're going to do, we're going to use our tool that I told you to install, which is the San Andreas map editor. We're going to open the map editor. You have to close your game real quick to open it. I don't know why it's a thing, but bear with me. It's a thing. Um, this is the San Andreas map editor. It's a great tool if you want to learn anything about mapping. Um, but that's a video we're going to get into the future. Like you could do this and then, wow, I'm look, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a sand mapper. Amazing. But I'm just going to use it to get some coordinations. And especially if you go up here to views, uh, there is a thing called copy camera, look at coordination, co coordinations. Uh, we're just going to fly our way over to, um, LV where we set our guy to spawn. Um, moving around, I just use right click and the scroll wheel just to make things easy for me. In game, we spawn our guy up here. So I want my camera in game to look like somewhere like this. Don't be fooled by the camera. If you do it like from here, it you'll be really small. Like it's not the copy camera look at coordinations are not that that accurate, but they're good enough. Um, let's say you want your camera to be here when you spawn and select your skin. Uh, just press copy camera look at coordinations. Uh, go back to your paw now. And then if you know, you'll notice that if you paste your thing, you will get two things. Don't paste it on the on game mode exit, by the way. But you have set player camera position and you had set player camera look at. And if you notice something, you see on player request class, which is something that gets executed as this line uh, gets used, you'll see set player position. 
this is what where we're going to set our guy with the uh, coordinations we just got from the skin select. Um, we have the set uh, player camera position. As you see, we already have this. And we have set player camera look at position. Set player camera look at position. What do we do? We copy and... Oh, oh wrong, wrong way around. We copy this one and we paste it here. We just replace uh, with what is there. Uh, what now happens if we get in game, you can remove this. Um, if you log in and you request a on player class, uh, then it will set your camera at this position. So where it is right now on uh, this tool and it'll look at the same direction I am looking in this tool. This is why this tool is really really useful for this. You could also do it in other ways, but this, I, I prefer to do it this way and I think it's the most easy way. Um, however, uh, we will still be at the default spawn. So we want our player to be uh, up here and not, not where he normally spawns, which is down here. We want him to be up here. So what do we do then? Well, if you remember, we still have the coordinations from our skin select. And I told you we have the X, we have the Z, and we have the Y. And then there is another one, which I'm gonna search up. Uh, set player look at thing, something, right? Set player face point, what was it called again? Set player face point. Um, set player facing angle. Set, I'm all doing this on my second screen, by the way. Set player facing angle Sam there it is Sam forms I want the wiki though Sam wiki there it is uh, we're also going to use uh, this um, uh, this uh, variable set player facing angle because um, we can only with set player position we can only use X Y and Z and we're not Z whatever we can only use um, X Y and this is really bothering me. Set player position, Sam. X, Y, Z. Yes. And then we also have another one, which is, of course. Ah, dude, I don't know my math, but but trust me, it, it, it'll work. Um, what do we do? We copy the first three numbers. So this one, this one, this one. And this is your X, Y, Z. And then, oh, oh God, oh God, copy. And then we have this, of course, which is our facing angle. So we're going to set player position, X, Y, Z, paste. And we're going to go back into this one. And we're going to go set player facing angle, copy. We're going to paste this and then just player ID, uh, player ID, and the variable that goes along with that one. So this one, the fourth one in the row. Uh, compile, we did everything correctly, that is good. Uh, what now will happen is uh, if we uh, join our game, if we join the game mode, we will uh, go to the add player class. From the add player class, it will trigger the public on player request class. And then what will happen, it will set our position on top of the castle it will set our facing angle. Let's actually, I don't know if it really matters, but let's just put it underneath everything just to be safe. Uh, it'll set our, uh, no, it, this won't matter. Um, what am I doing? Ignore what I just did. Um, it will set our facing angle from the player uh, towards uh, the coordinations 198. It will set the cam, uh, it's, it will set the player's camera at these coordinations and it will set the look at point at two uh, at these coordinations so how can i explain this for instance if let, let us spawn a fighting cabinet if this is a player then this is the camera the one i'm controlling right here with the scroll wheel um then it knows that okay the camera is this thing what we are right now and it'll look at these coordinations let's just try it in game and i hope this will like make things easier for you guys i suppose I mean, this video is already a mess, so fucking heads off to you if you can still follow along. Let's just uh, restart our script by typing GMX into the console. And let us join the server then once it's time for it to restart. There we go. Connect. Okay. Wait a second. 
And I really hope you guys can follow along with this video because I really did the mess, but it's fine. As you see, we are on the skin selector. It has set our camera at this position and it made us look at that position as I just showed you with the filing cabinet. It set our player position on top of the castle and we can select all the skins in the game. But as you know, we banned skin ID zero, which is CJ. And as you see, well, there's no CJ there. So, hmm, kind of worked, did it. Uh, we can select any skin. You can press on, see it spawns out at the add player class coordinations at the comma lot. And well, we are here, we can play, we can do whatever we want. We can select skins. Um, if you know GS and Drace, you can also press F4. You will make slash kill command, we did. Uh, you can slash kill and it'll send you back to the on player class select and you can select whatever skin you want again. Um, now we're gonna go into like, we, we know what variables are now and we know how to use variables. Now we're gonna try using all these variables in any way, shape or form. So for instance, if you want to make a, tele a teleportation command, you want to TP yourself to, I don't know, Los Santos, you know, okay, if my player, if this guy wants to be at Los Santos, then the script has to know, okay, I have to set player position. And then you think to yourself, okay, set player position, that I think that is a variable in scripting. And then you look at your script or you look at the same wiki and you're like, yeah, set player position is a variable. So let's say you want to spawn your guy in Los Santos. Um, I normally just use this tool because it's just really nice and neat. Uh, but let's say you want to make a teleportation command to... Fuck it, let's just use the generic place where everybody always makes a teleportation thing in LS. Let's just say you want to spawn him here. Um, I What I normally do is I insert a skin or object ID 2000, which is a violin cabinet. I just raise it up a little bit from the ground. You can do, you can raise and lower things by you holding the uh, left uh, or your middle mouse button. Uh, you can move them around by using your left mouse button, just fiddle around with it. It's really, really easy. Um, I normally just lift it a bit and then I want to coordinate of this item. You just go to objects uh, or movement, my bad. And then you'll notice as I move this case, then these files and numbers and these up here will change. Uh, you have your X, Y, Z, um, and then you have, of course, your angle. Uh, we only want the X, Y, Z because we, let's say, want to set player position on this location. We just copy the coordinations from here. We go back to our script, and let's say we want to make a new command. If you don't know how to make commands, I refer back to the previous video. Uh, let's say we want to go to LS, fucking the thing everybody always uses, player ID. Uh, params. If you don't know what I'm doing right now, go back to the previous video. Thank you. And we just want set player, player position, player ID, player ID to set coordinations that we just copy and pasted. We want to close it down. Uh, we want to return our command. Always return your commands. Don't forget about that. Return one and close your command and compile the script. Back in game. RCN login QB no QB QB RCN GMX wait for the server to restart and try if your command works if it doesn't work go back into your script um, do some troubleshooting go into the SAMP wiki and uh, figure it out ask me in the comments I don't, I don't care let's go uh, this guy Fuck, I don't know what he's called. Fucking Sam, San Andreas, my favorite game ever. I don't know what this guy is called. Brian or something? I don't know. Uh, but right now we have go to LS. What does it use? Uh, go to position. So if you say player ID, go to position. The coordinations we just set in the uh, in the tool right here. In this tool. This filing cabinet is now this fat guy. Magic, right? I actually didn't know you could do this in multiplayer. That's cool, I guess. Interesting. Oh, cool. Um, all right, that's basically it for skin selection on um, on Pano. Um, I'd not say it's that difficult. I'd not say it is that easy. Um, I think I could really do a better job at explaining everything, but I'm really, really sucking at it today. So uh, spare me. 
please. Next time I'll try to be uh, a bit better at my shit. Um, but we'll see. Let's remove this real quick. Um, I, I, yeah, I don't have anything left. Let me just look at my peaky, sneaky, peaky skin. Uh, because I can show you guys, look, I got a little cheaty skin where everything is already done. And then, uh, then I just make it with you guys. But I'm such a cheater, I know. Uh, but I think that is it. Um, add player class is not that difficult. It's not really easy i suppose um, if you just follow along with my steps then everything should just work fine also i want to uh tell you guys um this script is in the description so if you want to copy paste things out of the script or look at the script and learn from it it's in the description um for now though this is where i'm gonna leave it be uh, i think this video is a bit shorter than i planned it to be but that's fine um, if you have any questions, which I think you guys might have because this video is really messy, uh, leave them in the description or on the Sam forums on the scripting help page. Um, I would recommend you guys to use the scripting help page because, well, there's a lot of people that can help you here and in the comments it's only me. Uh, well, that's not technically true, but just go to the Sam wiki, a um, lot more people that can help you. You'll get an answer probably way faster. Um, and uh, you won't fill up my comments with all scripting stuff. Uh, but I want to thank you for watching, uh, I guess. <laughs> this video, I had something else in mind. I thought this would take longer and I would explain it better. But I think that is it. Um, however, I want to thank you for watching. If you want to see more of these videos, uh, subscribe. And probably next week or even sooner, there will be another one. Um, that's it. You guys have a good one. Enjoy scripting. If you think scripting is way too difficult for you, trust me, it's not really that difficult. Uh, everybody can do it. It just takes time and effort to learn, and uh, then you'll get there. Sam scripting is really easy, so uh, I, I know everybody can do this. Um, however, though, have a good one, and I'll see you guys uh, in the next one. Bye.